From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late. Today, we're breaking news that there's an energy shortage growing in Europe and could strike the United States that could bring your price to heat your home in the winter to record numbers like you've never seen before. This is an ancillary problem related to the price of gasoline going higher. That's why you got to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Latest reporting, we're going to go over the incredible money available for you to heat your home. Why you got to start getting that money right now, even though it's the thick of summer? Why you got to start the allegiances with the payors right today? Because this may be the hardest bill for you to pay in the winter months, just a few days away. We are in three phases of this economy, and over this recording, we're going to see three things. We're going to go over where this economy is, where it's going, and where that money is for you to get today. Phase one, currently underway between now and September, is a downward spiral of this economy. And we have new economic data released today for June 21st, 2022. The data is the housing market once again weak. The other data that came in was also the energy shortage as coal burning factories that have been closed for decades are having to be reopened across the globe to provide heating for its citizens internationally. I'll go over the big energy shortage at issue and why it's a bill you need to get paid. Over this recording, we're going to go over the big checks at issue. And of course, your comedy, your comedian, your stand-up comedy is a comedy act is back tomorrow. Who is it? It's Jay Val. <laughs> He's testifying tomorrow. What is his omitting uh, routine? Uh, he's going to tell about his uh, wonderful time on Broadway. No, he's going to talk about interest rates. And he's going to do the same thing as well. We'll be looking at where fake narratives are landing in the American landscape today. As Americans grapple for September, the good news is that while September is going to be a horrific start of phase two of this economy, you have a free warning. You have a free warning this channel 90 days out to get big money, big checks. I got those checks for you, upwards of $80,000 a person. They're in every U.S. state, and they are astronomically wonderful. They've been lost since March. We're going to get them in today's recording. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Let's get to the breaking news. It's the most loved show of the midday. It's afternoons, and it starts right now. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is June 21st, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's warm across the country. But even with this heat, you need to prepare for the biggest bill of a generation, the biggest bill of the year. And it's going to be a shock to Americans who see it for the very first time. What is that bill? It is the bill to heat your home as soon as the winter months start to kick in, or at least the fall months. And that is why you got to stay with this recording, because we're going to go over three things with this recording. We're going to go over where the economy is right now, where it's going, and how to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Have you become a member? You need to right today. Go right in this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America among both broadcasting and streaming. Heading to number two with a new look coming in less than 90 days. Step two, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Go right on this video, hit that join button, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. And then stay with me over this third, second half of this video. We're going to do this, the third item of this recording. Get your big checks. Big checks. And with that, let's go to the breaking news today. It looks like the breaking news of yesterday, but it became a more broad stroke today. And it is the shortage of oil to heat homes internationally this winter. Big problem. And this is a monster, monster problem. Now, there will not be a shortage at the moment in the United States to heat your home, but there will be less inventory of that oil to heat your home. And that means when you're likely to look at that bill, the first time it calls this, comes this fall, it's likely to be 300 to 400% higher than you paid last year. Imagine you pay $300 a month last year to heat your home. It could be upwards of $900 to 
hundred dollars this winter, depending on where you live. Are you ready for that expenditure? You're probably not. And that's why I got you a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. And what do you need to do? You need to start preparing for that today, even though it's nearly 90 days degrees outside. I'll explain to you why later in this recording. First, let's get to that breaking news story. It's an expansion of one we learned yesterday, because yesterday for the June 20th, 2020 recording, we had the announcement from those leaders in Germany that said while they were elected as Green Party pro-climate individuals, there's such a shortage right now of gasoline because the Nord Stream 1 pipeline from Russia to Germany is only feeding about 30% of their gasoline now, that they have now turned on coal burning factories that have been closed for decades. The largest fossil fuel uh, 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 perpetrators of the globe, but they got to turn them on to heat their citizens. And what they say, including the economy minister, Robert Harbach, is that we need to get the stuff ready right now so that we have enough in the winter. The bitter it is is that it's almost necessary in this situation to reduce gas consumption, but we must do everything to store as much gas as possible right now in the summer and autumn. So he's saying the situation is so severe this winter, they need to start producing this energy right today. And this is energy they would normally never support because they're all clean candidates or green candidates. The data expands internationally today. We'll be touching more about that in one second. Stock market today is up a little bit, up 400 points. Do not think that the stock market crash of 2022 is over. It's not over. And while the Dow is up 1.4% today, waiting for General Jay Powell to testify on Congress on Wednesday and Thursday, it's just in a reprieve. A lot of people have been asking me private messages. Why are things a little bit up? Why are things a little bit down? It's just a repeat, reprieve and a lot of volatility. Stocks are up about 400 points today after the weekly decline of last week. A 6% was the worst since 2020. And gasoline has, got, has improved. The price went down since about Friday. About 6% at some points. Uh, and viewers have been asking me, why has gasoline gone down? Do they have a deal? <laughs> no, they don't have a deal. It's just the volatility of the traders. Great question. I love that my viewers watch the price of gasoline moving. How much does it move? It's moved from about 514 uh, U.S. domestic at the pump, AAA national average, to about 490. So it's fallen about 20 cents in about seven days, very quickly. Uh, and the international brand crude fell from about 120 on about Thursday to about 118 and even a little bit lower. Uh, but it's just the volatility. We will have those bumps in the road as it continues to go higher. More about that in a second. Housing data came in today. It's just another day with another bad housing data. And the housing data exemplifies why the economy is getting really bad very quickly. Housing data continues to fall. More about that in one second. Three things I do in every recording. I tell you where this economy is, I tell you where we're going, and I get you stimulus checks. In the second half of this video, I get you those stimulus checks. But let me tell you where we are and where we're going. There are three phases of this economy I've identified. Phase one is now to September. It's a downward spiral from the good days of February and March to really bad days of September. It's going to be very abrupt, very quick, very much like a back or like a whiplash. And Americans are going to be confused why it went from so good to so bad so quickly. You're not, because I've been reporting this since February. In February, I've been telling you we're going to recession next year. That's not this year. And what's important to understand is that Americans believe this is the recession. They believe this is the bottom of the stock market. They believe this is the worst the housing market's going to get. No, it's not. This is just the downward spiral to hit to September. How bad is September? September will mirror day one of the lockdown of March 2020. It will be that bad. In fact, the housing down I'm about to go to in just a second for June 21st, 2022, is as bad as day one of the lockdown. So it's very interesting. While I say it will be as bad as the lockdown by September, some industries may hit that bad uh, benchmark earlier than even September. Then phase three is January, when we hit the full-on recession. And what's important to know is that this channel, over the last two years, has predicted time and time again the weekly, the monthly, and the annualized projections right on point. Whether it's inflation, recession, or labor, I predicted all of them correctly across the board. Let's go over the data today that signals how bad this economy is getting really quickly. Housing. Housing sales of existing homes fell 3.4% seasonally adjusted. And this was the weakest number reported since June of 2020. 
And that was during the earliest bad months of the pandemic. And this, when you adjust it for that, is actually the lowest number since even the pandemic. So the housing numbers today, if you look at them adjusted in one way, based upon season, they're now the worst numbers since even the pandemic. Yeah, I told you we're reaching that level by September, but in the case of housing, it's getting worse. I do anticipate further decline in housing sales, says Lawrence Yan, chief economist of the NAR, National Association of Realtors. I featured him before. He's a smart guy. Uh, here's what I want you to know. The data is really bad. And there's anyone out there that wants to tell you the data is good. It's just disingenuous. I understand that the selling time to sell the homes is really short. That's good. And I understand the inventory is low at the moment. That's also good. And that the average home on the market is selling within about, I think it's 17 days. Um, uh, and that's really good. But I got to tell you, the overall bottom line is that the numbers are really bad. Uh, and they're getting worse. Stagflation, breaking news today. As a leading group of economists, 80% of them believe we're going to stagflation. Uh, folks, <laughs> I know, uh, what are we? We're only, uh, you know, 11 minutes of the videos. So I'm really scaring you. Okay, here comes the horror story. Inflation, next, uh, recession next year, January 2023. Yeah, that's phase three. Stagflation, that's not on your map, Ally. Is stagflation happening as well? Stagflation is much worse than recession. Stagflation is recession plus inflation. It's basically seeing that Jay Powell's not getting inflation down, which he isn't, uh, and then recession's coming, which it is. Uh, so how likely is it happening? Well, 80% of economists believe it's now happening. Uh, it will be happening, not now. It will be happening. And it, it's, it's also being co-subscribed by... Uh, Bank of America fears stagflation, and they expect the, the they're fearing it for the worst amount that they've seen since 2008. All right, let's go to that oil shortage because this is very important. This is on point. This is your money. You go to heat your home this winter, and how do you heat it? Uh, electric, gas, heating oil. Uh, let's hope it's electric, but if it's heating oil or gas, folks, uh, your bill is going to be 304% higher. So the problem today for people who don't watch this channel, is they don't know that. They can open that bill in, let's say, November, and they say, you yeah, know, yeah, here's the heating bill. Uh, it's probably $300. They open up $1,200. I don't have $1,200. Now, let me give you the reality check. First, they don't know that's coming. You do. Number two, they don't know that the energy companies can turn off your power this winter. You do. It's different than the pandemic. During the pandemic, there was an agreement with the states and the government that they would never turn off your energy bill if you couldn't pay your bill because there was a pandemic. This time around, that agreement is not in place. Also not in place is the mortgage forbearance, meaning if you're going to go into foreclosure, they can take your home. Also not in place anymore is the, is the eviction moratorium. They can kick you out. All those great benefits of 2020 for making sure there's a home over your head that is heated are gone. And so what's at issue? is that you need to prepare right today. We're going to go with three things that you need to prepare for, and they're a check C. We're coming over the, um, the we're going over the millennium this recording, but I want to give you a preview right now. Check C involves utilities. And what I want you to do is I want you to learn the skill, I want you to create the relationship, and I want to get you starting checks paid today, even though it's a very small bill for heating your home because it's 90 degrees outside. What does this involve? First, it involves the skill set. The skill set is the readjustment of our focus. If you've never done this before, if you've been on this channel since day one, you've been doing this since day one. It involves picking up the phone and saying, I need assistance for my heating oil, my heating oil bill. I need assistance for my gas bill. If you've never done this before, and maybe you just found this channel, this is what we've been doing since December 2020. And viewers have done great jobs on it. But I understand what happened day one. The first time I made this recording in December 2020, viewers said, I have to pick up the phone and call someone? I'm very shy. I'm just not good on talking on the phone. Uh, I said, I know you're shy. You got to get over the shyness and you got to pick up the phone. And I understood it took a learning curve. I understood it took an educational process. I understood it took an, an informational process on this channel and an inspirational process among viewers, helping other viewers, inspiring them to do it. Pick up the phone and just call. And then they did. And that burden is something new viewers that you may have just found this channel today or yesterday or this week is something you have to come over that burden for. You have to pick up the phone and be able to call. I know you can call the phone, but some people just don't have the, um, they get the butterflies initially. Get over it, and then you're going to get used to it. Number two, once you develop that skill, then I need you to hone in the relationship. I need you to establish a relationship with the payor. The payor may be 
uh, government agency or maybe a nonprofit. I'm going over these check sees in just a second, laying this recording. Why is that relationship so important? Because what's going to happen as soon as the cold weather months come on in is that millions of Americans are going to struggle as soon as they open that envelope and look at that $1,200 bill. I'm just using that by example. I'm not saying everyone's going to have a $1,200 bill, but by example, they're going to look at it and say, uh, my goodness, I'm, I'm in trouble. And I only got 10 days to pay for it. And then they start screaming. They start shouting. They get very, very angry. They get belligerent. They're going to pick up the phone and call that person you've been speaking to so kindly since the month of June and you've had this great relationship during the summer months. They're going to pick up the phone and start screaming at that person. Irate saying, what are you doing? I can't pay this bill, sir. We're turning off your bill if you can't pay it. Uh, everyone's bills are going up. It's just the way it is. The issue is you're going to establish relationships today. Relationships involve picking up the phone and speaking to those people today and getting a bill paid today. Heating oil, electric bill, water bill. I don't care if it's $20. Maybe it's very little because you're not heating home right now. It's 8, 90 degrees outside. But you establish that relationship with John or Jessica or Jennifer, whoever it is that answers the phone. You write down their phone number. You write down their name. You remember them and say, and you try to get as many months as possible. You try to get June, July, August, and you know what's going to happen. Yeah. In October, you're going to call back and say, hey, it's me again. Oh, I remember you. You were that nice person. We talked about casseroles and we talked about uh, we talked about the beach. How's your family? Good. My family's good. I need a little more assistance. Oh, you do? Yeah, the bills are going up. Which months you need assistance for? I need September, October, November. Actually, um, maybe October, November, December. Can you bring me into January? You know, this economy's getting really bad. There's a recession coming. I heard that. Uh, can you help me with that? Yes. This is all a skill. It is all a skill. It is all an information and applying the information to a skill. And it's coming up later in this recording. We're going to go over all of that more at issue. Germany, Italy, and Austria and Netherlands have sound the red alarm about the situation. They say they're, they're, running out of, they're running out of product. They're running out of oil, and they need to prepare their economies to heat their citizens this fall. The United States can have a similar problem. We're not going to run out of the, the, the product, but the product's going to go through the roof in the pricing because there's a big shortage of it. And they say that because they've banned the Russian products, quote, decades of failed energy and infrastructure policies have led to a point where our governments are reconsidering, reconsidering open coal, a fuel that's responsible for millions of deaths, says European Beyond Coal's Mahai Solidarian. Germany's economy minister, Robert Hara, has warned the situation is going to go really tight in the winter. Folks, um, I didn't say this yesterday, but I think I need to say it today because it just sort of came into my mind. That's why, as you know, most of these shows are done. It's totally impromptu. I, have, I may notes the quotes, but the, my reactions are impromptu. There are some Democrats that are so embedded in clean energy that they would never think of turning on a coal burning factory. And there's some German leaders that are so vetted in clean energy that they would never think of turning on a uh, coal burning that causes uh, that causes deaths and, and increases fossil fuels. They would never think about it. But if people are going to freeze to death in their homes, literally freeze to death in their homes in December, they got to do something because otherwise thousands of people will be waking up dead in their homes in the winter. And the and uh, it's it's rare that even I would talk about death on this channel. But folks, this is the reality this winter. And how many people are talking about it? Germany, France, Italy, Australia, excuse me, Germany, France, Austria, and the Netherlands. But uh, in the United States, not yet. And this is how I deeply care for you. That's how I deeply care for you. Getting these big sums of money for you, laying this recording, and for when I hear German Chancellor, uh, German Minister saying how important the situation is to be addressed right today, I'm addressing this as well. What's going on? What's going on is that we have three phases of the economy. And phase one is between now and September. September is going to be horrific. It's really going to be bad. But the fall from here to September is going to blindside a lot of people. It's going to blindside them so, wet, so much. First in the labor situation. Labor is going to go from really good to really bad. And the labor numbers, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, every time I hear certain analysts talk, I sort of, I go like, what? I, I just close my eyes and I just, oh, you're giving me a headache. Uh, and it, it sadly includes Janet Yellen. It includes Janet Yellen. It includes Joe Biden. Uh, people who say, this is the best labor market of a generation. 
uh, the February labor market was that. We're not there right now. What's going on? 200,000 new jobless, two, excuse me, 200,000 new jobless claims two weeks ago were announced by the Department of Labor. And as soon as I saw that number, I said, wait a second, this is horrific. When we went to the pandemic, we were at 200,000. We need to be at 188. This labor shortage as people being laid off by record numbers is featuring people on the other side and say, everyone has a job. They don't all have a job. No one's being laid off. They're all being laid off. No one's business is closing. They're all closing. And I got to tell you, if this was Mitch and me in 2020, I would just run the Mitch, you know, the Mitch jokes because it'd be Mitch trying to take the facts and invert them. But there's a lot of analysts who are running fake facts. There's a lot of Democrats in control that says, oh, the labor is really good in this economy. Everyone has a job. Uh, it, folks, you and I know. Less or more. Less or more. Jump in the live chat right now. Less or more. Right in the live chat. If there's less or more employees in the big box retailers. It's, we've been discussing this for two months when Walmart reported corporate earnings and they said there's too many employees in the stores. I said, that's the warning signal. They're laying people off. They haven't yet, but the corporate layoffs started to hit other companies. Tesla down at, at removing 10% of its workforce. Coinbase, 18%. Of companies left and right saying layoffs, that's the first stage. Then hiring freeze. That's the two scariest words that can be. That means do not come knocking and asking for a job. We're not even taking applications for this year or maybe several years. And number three, store closures. We're really at the end of phase one, stage one into stage two, where layoffs have been announced, but we're not in a broad stroke of hiring freezes yet. And the third one will be store closures. That's when the recession hits. And what happened last week? All last week I said the, the new unemployment numbers was gonna be 230,000. How right did I have it again? You know my track record. My track records, it's 100%. I predicted 230,000 new jobless claims. It came in at 229,000. Ouch. Continued unemployment claims at 1.3. Here's what's going to happen. Between now and September, here's the reality check. From the good times of February and March to the really scary times happening so quickly overnight in September, the following events are going to happen. First, labor. People are going to be laid off. And when they're laid off, they're going to go next door to find another job and potentially that job next door is going to be gone as well. So if you currently have a job, please do the following for me. Immediately go next door and see if there is a job. I don't want you to take the job. I just want you to see if there is one. And then if there is, keep them on your radar. Watch them on a weekly basis to see that that business is financially stable so that you know there's another job available for you. Number two, if you do get laid off, immediately take that other job and do not ask for salary, salary bonus or hiring, uh, hiring raise. Just take the job. Number three, I believe that when Americans are laid off this fall or this late summer, they think that the benefits for unemployment of 2020 are around, they're gone. And I think the employers who are worried that they're going to lose their business, their benefits are gone. They're all gone. The following programs of 2020 are all gone. PUA for independent contractors, FPUC, that's $600 a week that goes on top of your existing benefits. PEUC, those extra weeks of benefits. LWA extra add-on of benefits, EIDL grant for business owners, EIDL loan for business owners, LWA, a PPP for independent contractors or business owners, all these instruments are gone. And so if you are laid off, you need to prepare accordingly. If you're not an employee and you're a senior, I need you to immediately do the following things. In fact, I need this for all my viewers. Immediately remove any ADRs. We're going to feature them more tonight on Evening to LA. Remove any ADRs. It involves removing any adjusted debt, uh, rate debt. So if your debt has an adjustable rate to it, like credit card debt where it can fluctuate, or car loans, or anything like that, get rid of it. Pay it off or get it switched to fix. Because Jay Powell, he's going to testify at Capitol Hill this week. And you know what he's going to say. He's raising interest rates. Here's what you need to know. If gasoline continues to track higher, the consumer price index number tracks higher, the CPI. And the CPI tracks higher, then Jay Powell raises interest rates. And if he continues to raise interest rates, we go in recession. Those interest rates will kill you if you have any flexible interest rate instruments at home. And boy, it's out of control. What's going on? Jay Powell did three quarters of a basis point last week. He's going to do three quarters again, then another three quarters, and then half, half, and then a quarter. They're off in the month of August. 
And what's an issue is that you can't let that hit your bank account like that at all. What's important for you to understand is that you got to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. you got to get this money. And the love, the tough love on this channel is coming in really strong right now because you need to prepare your family and your household and yourself by getting these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. The downward spiral of this economy between now and September is going to be very, very severe. That downward spiral will involve you making sure that you are prepared to get the money before we get worse. Here's the stages of this economy. Now to September. You cannot wait to September to get the money. Why? Because there's going to be less of it. One. Number two, there's going to be people competing against you. Number three, you may not financially survive between now and September. You need to get all these stimulus checks that I have for you in the second half of this video right now. So do not wait. Use the benefit of a pre-warning. When the pandemic hit of 2020, you had no pre-warning. You were told to go on lockdown and you had to fend for yourself with stimulus. This time around, you have a pre-warning. Three months. It's June 21st, 2022. You have a pre-warning. Go get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Go into this video, hit that join button, and become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. When September comes, it's going to be really bad out there. It's going to be really bad with a lot of Americans who were just thinking that this was February, and suddenly it's now September. When they wake up one morning and realize this economy went from decent to really bad overnight, then they're going to start looking around. They're going to start looking around, and some of them are asking the question right now, and I'm going to answer that question right now. Whatever happened to the Bill Back Better Act? When are they voting on the Bill Back Better Act? When are they giving me some checks on the Bill Back Better Act? If you're a member, if you're a member of this channel and you watch the videos of this channel, you are not going to ask that question. You're not going to ask whatever happened to the Bill Bat Better Act. When are they voting on the Bill Bat Better Act? When are they sending out checks? You're not going to ask that question. You know why? Because nine out of ten times, the reason why someone's asking that question is they want the Bill Bat Better Act to be passed to send them checks to pay for their bills now in this phase one to phase phase one heading to phase two. And if you're a member of the show, you're not in any way ever going to ask that question. When are they voting on the Bill Bat Better Act? Because you know why? There's no way that Bill Bat Better Act would ever get you a check in phase one. And you need checks right now. You need checks right now. You can't wait for that mythical horse and buggy to pull up for a piece of legislation that's not going to send you a check in phase one. You need money right now. And anyone that's sitting around just waiting, repeating whatever happened to the recon, whatever happened to the Bill Back Better Act, what day are they voting, what day are they sending out checks, they are going to go into financial meltdown before we even get to September. Yeah, that's how bad it is, folks. I'm, paying, I'm being very tough with my tough love that there's money available right now and that anyone that sits around doesn't get it, they are setting themselves up for big problems by September. And remember, September ain't phase two. Phase two is the worst of them. I really believe phase two is the worst of them. While phase three is recession and it'll go on for two years and it'll be absolutely horrific, phase two is going to be very scary. I can't imagine what December is going to be like when Americans may have preconditioned themselves to think the federal government is always going to bail them out if they can't pay their heating oil bill. Federal government may likely not bail you out. Federal government may not likely tell the heating oil company they can't turn off the, the, the oil or turn off the gas if, you're, if you can't pay the bill. And imagine if your bill is going to get turned off in November. Yeah, that's why I have a lot of tough love for you, and we can do it as a family. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks. You're going to start getting them today and getting them on a regular basis, including checks for that heating oil and that gas that electric, that water, getting these bills paid today. We're getting them paid starting today. We're not waiting to our backs against the wall. Because guess what? The wall's going to collapse later this fall. The wall's going to collapse for a lot of people. And you're not going to be among the people. The differences between this economy and its citizens are going to be very, very broad in the next few months. I'm so happy.
you're watching this channel. I'm so excited you're watching this channel and this video today and all the new videos on this channel today because you understand that there's two things you need to do every day for you and your family. You need to know exactly where this economy is by the minute, by the day. And you need to continue to get checks every single day for four stimulus. Why do you need to know that? Because I started the recording by telling you uh, the Dow Jones is up a little bit today. Uh, it's up 1.4%. It's up 400 points. And that um, housing sales are down you know, 3%. Imagine if today I was going to tell you the Dow was down 2,000 points and uh, four companies declared bankruptcy. And you miss that. <laughs> you miss that. And that company happens to be the company your son or daughter works for. You may have missed that story. You can't miss financial news when markets are changing so dramatically. The good times are gone. The bad times are upon us. And the bad news you need to be on top of by the minute and by the hour because it all impacts you and your wallet. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. You need to do three things during the commercial break. One, stay with me for the second half. <laughs> number two, go right on this video and hit that subscribe button. And number three, become a member. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP, get this incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. For June 21, 2022, we got a lot coming up. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now for June 21, 2022. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is warm here in Santa Monica, California. It got really warm yesterday afternoon. I think I talked about it last night on Evenings LA. Are you going to watch tonight's Evening Delight? You better. you got to watch all the new shows on this channel every single day. Starts at 9 a.m. with Morning Delight live on air. Continues with the 3 o'clock afternoon show and the Evening Delight at 5 o'clock. Then we got shows throughout the day. Don't miss them as well. In this big second half, we're going to go over these incredible checks. Plus, we're going to go over the raising up of your benefits. I forgot to tease that early in this recording. Have you become a member? Do it right today. Thousands and thousands of members. These are the people who are winning. These are the people who are getting checks. These are people who are getting the newsletter daily. These are people who are learning where gasoline is going and where the economy is by the minute. Subscribe. Become a member. Go on this video. Join the channel. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. And with that, let's get into the big second half of today's recording with those checks in every U.S. state. You know, it's so important to understand that the landscape today is very different than it was two years ago, different than it was six months ago. The landscape today is that there's a force to most check in every U.S. state, and not just one of them, over $100,000 per person in every U.S. state. I'll say that again. Every U.S. state. There's always someone that wants to say, there's nothing in my state. There's some money in every U.S. state. And what's different this time around is you got to go get it. You got to pounce. You got to move very quickly. And if you learned something in 2020, 
You got to learn something different now in 2022. That's this channel. You can't use their knowledge of 2020 because the instruments of 2020 are no longer with us. These are different instruments and they work in a different way. It's a different year, a different economy with different stimulus. And we're going to go over this different stimulus starting right now. A voice stimulus check is in every U.S. state and viewers of back in March said, go find it for me. I love my viewers because you're so smart. You've learned when I taught you. Get money when times are good. It's great that you're watching this channel in June. Times are not that bad yet. This is not the worst part of phase one. And why did viewers say, go give me checks? Because the Build Back Better Act wasn't getting done then. My focus was threefold. Getting big checks with big amounts because viewers need big checks so that they can survive into phase two and survive potentially into phase three. And number two, get broad eligibility checks. And I found them. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, you don't have children. If you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get them. Upwards of $80,000 checks, yes, in every U.S. state, yes. Let's get to them. Are you ready? Yes, let's get to those incredible checks starting right now. The first check is check A. I've labeled it as check A. It's my lettering system on this channel. And that incredible check A is... $6,500 to $12,000. Wow, that is incredible. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. It is astronomical. How do you get this incredible check? Step one, you subscribe. Step two, you go into the, the, the video and join and become a member. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. That incredible newsletter is then delivered to you. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. You go right down that newsletter till you find check A, and there it is. It's right in the newsletter. I describe what it is, and then I give you the link to apply. You go right into the nationwide website. You choose your state. You choose the Weather Rising Grant, and you go and pounce and apply. And there you go. The rounding times is currently out about one week. But you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. Wonderful check B. Whoa, look at that money. 15000 to 80000 but many viewers are tracking about 66000 to $80,000. This is the homeowner's grant, and boy, 75000 less, a single individual, you better go get it, go get it. Married couple, 150000 less, go get it. If you are on benefits, you go get it. Viewers are tracking about 66000 to $80,000. Imagine how many bills that would pay. It's just wonderful, wonderful. Go under the membership, oh, go under the video and join this channel. Hundreds of thousands of viewers and uh, subscribers and thousands, thousands of members. Become a member. People in the live chat that have emoji of a purple hawk behind their name, they are members as well. Go right down and join today. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to your very fine check B. There'll be a link. You click the link. You go into the nationwide website. Choose your state and you pounce and you apply. Absolutely incredible. Finally, let's go to check C. Check C is even better. This is for, yes, the utilities we were talking about early in this channel, early in this recording. Utilities for renters, utilities for homeowners. It is also for rent, utilities, mortgages, is more. And how do you get this incredible check C? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Go down that membership newsletter to find check C. I tell you who to call, where to call, and what to say. This is what we're talking about early in this recording. You pick up the phone right today and you get some of that heating oil bill paid. It's going to be $20 or $10 or $5 this month. But you get that relationship established with that payor, whether it's the city or the nonprofit in the newsletter. And you establish that relationship so you know the person by name and they know you by name. You'd be very kind. You'd be very sweet. Because what's going to happen in November is a lot of not kind, not sweet, not pleasant people are going to call up the same place. And say, I want money. And they're not going to pay them because the people are so abrasive on the phone. They will also give preference to you because they already have a previously established relationship, likely. So that is how you do it. Check C has been paid out to the viewers of this channel since December 2020. Since the 20, December 2020. I have been getting people these incredible sums of money. Look at these monies. Twenty to thirty thousand dollars for rent, then for utilities, fifteen thousand dollars for utilities for SNAP, huge sums of money, upwards of twenty-five thousand dollars for Mark's brother in law over ten years as a quarter million dollars. Combos, Mark and Nisi, Lorraine and Johnny, uh, and Margaret, let's go over what they're doing. They're doing what I've taught. 
What I've taught is you get a check today, you get another check tomorrow, you get a check the day after. You don't stop getting checks. You are on that phone. You do two things in a day. Well, in addition to eat, <laughs> in addition to have some water. Uh, you watch the videos that are new in the day, so you know exactly what's going on with this economy. You need to know exactly what's going on in the economy. You don't have to understand everything that Jay Powell's doing. I don't even understand everything that Jay Powell's doing. But you need to know if the economy is worse today than it was yesterday and why it's worse. You need to understand what's going off gasoline. Then you get checks. Mark, Nisi, Lorraine, Margaret. Nisi was at 23000 and then she went to 30000 Mark, he was at 32000 Then he went back and heard me. He went from 30000 to 50000 then from 50,000 to 100,000, then to 166, because he got check B. And here's Lorraine. She was at 105 to 120. Now she's at 130. If you heard my voice just about two minutes ago, I paused because I remembered something Lorraine told me last night or posted last night in the live chat on Eden's LA. She said, You would be so proud of me, LA, because I started with a binder taking notes, watching your channel. And now this binder is completely filled with notes. Uh, I'm going to pause right there and go over how significant that is, how inspirational that is, and how that is so smart of what to do. This is an informational channel. I mean, it is a news channel. It's the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two. But it's an informational channel. And, and the information is embedded in the newsletter. But the newsletter is, you know, a concise version of what you need to know. And the recordings are you know, multiple one-hour recordings per day, there's a lot of information in these recordings that impact where you can find money, that impacts the value of your money, that impacts the economy. And here's Lorraine saying, now, like, I take notes. I take notes. I used to talk about that a lot on the channel. I haven't said it in a long time, maybe five months. Take notes when you're watching this channel. Take notes and go over your notes, and I will repeat stuff here and there. And those notes have now encompassed an entire binder for Lorraine, do the same. Taking notes is very important because you'll go back and you realize, wait a second. Like, here's my example, my notes. Um, I have my notes here for today. Let me see if I can get on camera. For today, for June 21st, 2022. Um, actually, I grabbed the wrong, wrong hand. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that is June 21st, 2022. Uh, and this was about the, the, the coal burning issue overseas. Why my notes right under that for the day before where I just had Germany. So I double checked. I'm like, wow, it is now spread from one country to five countries, a big problem with the next problem. So taking notes is very, very important for keeping track of this economy. Whatever helps improve your understanding is why you do better. And that's why Lorraine is $150,000. Imagine the donut guy who doesn't take notes. <laughs> He can't. He has a donut in his hand. He can't take notes. He has a donut in his hand. That's all he wants is the donut in his hand. He doesn't take notes, and he just says, when's a donut land in my wall in my hand? Well, all you're going to get is a donut in your hand because there's no place to put anything else. But Ray, she has a whole binder, and she has a lot of space to store information because she'll hear something, and she'll take notes and put it right in the binder. God bless her. Do the same thing. Absolutely. Thank you, Flory, for that great comment. The... Uh, situation for this economy is really an economy in which you have wrong financial analysts, you have a wrong Federal Reserve, and you have Democrats who may start to spin the facts or may simply just not understand the facts. And then you have a midterm election and where people always spin economic facts. Here's what I want you to know, is that these three phases of this economy, I'm going to track them with you and with standpoints so you understand them. Phase one between now and September, downward spiral. Phase two, uh, as bad as the pandemic starting in September. Phase three, recession starting next year. The events are going to fit into one of those three phases. Now, what's coming out of the White House? Uh, we may not have a recession uh, uh, because we're a great country. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're a great country. That has nothing to do with the equation. Uh, the equation is if you don't get gasoline provided, to, your, to the world economies, 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing per day. We go to recession, so does all our partner allies. Jan Yellen, fake narrative over the weekend. Joe Biden, fake narrative on Friday. Jay Powell, fake narrative on Friday as well. He says he's getting inflation down to 2%. He's not. No one believes that. Not even the Department of Labor. Not even the CBO. Why are people giving fake numbers? It's, 
it, it, I guess you would call it sugarcoating. I really don't know why it's happening. People don't want to spook the citizens and say it's going to get really bad. They don't want to scare you. Um, or they want to make it look like they're doing a really job, good job. In the case of Jay Powell, I think it's the latter. I think he wants to make himself look like he's doing a really good job. He's not getting inflation down. He's not getting it down. He, he's been working on this inflation, getting it down, and it's gone up. Because why? His tools don't work. Uh, Joe Biden wants to basically say, hey, my administration is, is doing great jobs with this economy. It's not. The economy... Uh, Joe Biden needs to get 3.5 million barrels of gasoline replaced for the Western allies, hasn't done it. If he doesn't do it, we go to recession. I mean, that's his responsibility with the leaders of Germany, France, and the United States, not the responsibility of Congress, not the responsibility of Jay Powell. And then finally, the group that I would expect them to do a good job, but they're often not, is a lot of financial analysts. A lot of financial analysts are doing really bad jobs out there. What are they doing? They're using half of the data, or they're using good data and saying that it's only that data. For example, it was no less than two weeks ago where people said the whole economy is great. It's just the housing that's really bad. No, the housing is really bad. And so is the rest of the economy. And then there's some people say, oh, housing is really good because the housing, the homes on the market are only there for seven or eight days. And they're selling really quickly. The lowest number ever since. Great. But the housing numbers are down. Who cares if one of the sub numbers are, are, is better? It's whether the whole numbers are better. And then you have, um, and then you have corporate America. Corporate America is the one that really scares me because corporate America did not give you, and I haven't said this in what um, a month. Corporate America did not give you pre warnings in those corporate earnings when they came in really badly, starting about two weeks ago. Well, now it's almost a month. When Target and Walmart shocked the markets with those horrible corporate earnings, they gave no pre-warning. A lot of people were very upset about it. So what I want you to know is you may not get pre-warning for the corporate earnings from your financial analysts, from Congress, from the presidency, from the administration, or from Jay Powell about how bad things are until after they're that bad. For me, it's going to be the opposite. I'm going to tell you ahead of time how bad they're going to get because I need you to prepare. Preparing ahead of time is where you do better in a falling economy. When times get tough, you do better than everyone else when you prepare. You prepare like Lorraine preparing with her notes, like me preparing to tell you to get money, like you ending this recording and going out and getting money as soon as the recording's over. Those people who prepare do better. People who do nothing are going to be left by the wayside. Finally, let's go over your benefits. Great news on the, great news on the benefits. I'll be featuring them more tonight on Evening Zelig with some new graphics. Your benefits are definitely going up. How much? We'll know more specifically in July and August, September. Your benefits are tied to COLA, which is tied to the CPI-W, as released in the months of July, August, and September. Based upon the numbers for the month of May, or at least two weeks ago in that CPI, the chief actuary, Steve Goss, said, you know what? That main number was so big, I believe your benefits will go up about, quote, about 8% later this year. Wow, that's great. That's about $300 more per month, not just one year, not just life, but a lifetime. Now, my analysis is the following. I believe it's higher. A nonprofit organization, the Seniors League, believe it's a little bit higher as well, 8.6%. I'm putting it even higher than them. I'm putting it 9%. Because the CPI-W is a subsection of the CPI. And the CPI goes higher when gasoline goes higher because it's part of the number. And gasoline, in my opinion, is going to go much higher. $10 a gallon is what I'm predicting. One eighty five international brand crude because there's no deal for gasoline and we need 3.5 million barrels a day. And none of the Western allies have gotten it. They need to get it in March. This is heading into July. They haven't done it. So I expect that number to be higher. And if I'm right, that's even more money. Plus, there's a new piece of legislation that's been introduced by Bernie, Liz, and other senators. I'll be going over that piece of legislation tonight in prime time. Here's what you need to know. It's all a mindset. It's all focus. It's all preparation. It's all information. You need to know where this economy is on a daily basis. You need to know what it's doing right today. That's what's covered in every video on this channel every day, and that's why you need to tune in. Number two, you need to know where this economy is changing to. Because it's changing very quickly. Anyone who doesn't watch the changes of the economy day in, day out, they're going to be left by the wayside. Because then they're going to realize, wait a second, something got really bad very quickly. What happened? They won't understand it. It's sort of like um, 
it's sort of like a TV show you'll like to watch and you miss five or six episodes and suddenly a big plot twist happens. You miss that plot twist. Then you don't know what happened. And it's very hard to follow along with. You need to know where this economy is twisting and turning by the day and where it's heading because you'll get confused and you'll be left by the wayside. And number three, you need to get all this money. You need to get money and keep on getting money and keep on getting money. And God bless you and God bless viewers like Margaret, Johnny, Lorraine, uh, Nisi, and of course, um, Mark, who have listened and learned and continue to pound to get those sums of money. I want you to do the same. Have you become a member? Today's the day if you haven't. Go right on this video and click the link where it says join this channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Hawk Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get that for us. Someone's check in every U.S. state. Meantime, join me tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time for a brand new Evenings LA. It's America's most watched show for financial news, and we'll have the breaking news on that front tonight. We'll have a lot more breaking news. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Adelaide for more. <laughs>